Hey there, what is up? Welcome to another reaction video. We're going to be jumping into some Nightwish. I know that a new Nightwish video has been released very, very recently, and I am going to react to the album, but first, I bought a brand new audio setup so that's going to get here by the end of the month. And because new Nightwish, and because of everything else, we need to kind of wait to have the best potential possible setup possible in order to kind of make everything perfect to listen to. So for now, until that time when my new audio setup gets here, we are going to be jumping into Noise, which released a little while ago. And it's off the new album. I know a new song released about five days ago, like, like a new single from that album also entitled music, but that won't be listened to until the end of the month or the start of next month, depending on when my audio set actually does get here. So, we are going to be jumping into noise. And we're just going to check it out and we're just going to enjoy the nightwishness. The new album, hopefully, is going to be amazing. It's going to be <clears throat> a song by song analysis, basically, by me once we get there. And so, we're just going to jump straight into this.
That was such an insightful video. That video has so much going on with it that it's going to take me a little bit to explain and to talk about it and to everything else. So this uh, video obviously was about the influence of social media and marketing and everything else that's going on in the world. How th in that which I think eventually you'll basically just be plugged into your social media. You are so plugged into your social media that you're not experiencing your real life. You're not experiencing nature or art or philosophy or other kinds of things that are important in, in the world. Um, let's start with Tumas. Tumas is probably the best one to go for <clears throat> on social media. He's basically he's basically going for. Um, being an eco warrior, being somebody who's for the green planet, who's for nature and all of that stuff. But in reality, he's bathing in oil. Everything that he uses is using oil. And it's harming the planet and it's destroying the planet completely. And that is literally being the opposite of what he actually is. Marco is advertising all kinds of pills and diets and all kinds of things that people do online. And those things don't work. Those things just make him miserable. And he just is kick around the box because he literally does not give a fuck about health or your body or what he's selling he doesn't believe any of it the model or or whoever she is the one who's very much beauty obsessed on her social media is underneath all of that makeup underneath all of those layers is not is a person who is very very uh, not ugly but has very many flaws she has botox injections she has all kinds of different injections in order to look beautiful she has a ton of makeup in order to make herself look completely perfect and underneath all of that, she is a shadow of what she shows on her social media. Presence floor is the one who is just completely putting their kids and their family into every picture, trying to show that they have a perfect, perfect family life. But the little girl has like makeup running down her face to show that she's been crying, that she's not happy, that beyond that beyond everything that she was going through. On the social media, she's not a happy person. She's just being used for social media attention at this point. And so on. And there's like so many different things you can really take from this video that is just completely true in the way that the world is nowadays. And it's just a really insightful fact that social media is kind of not a curse, not like a bad thing for me personally, but it can be manipulated and it can be construed in that way where you just see it completely obliterating everything, which is not really what you want from your life. You, there's people sitting and looking at the Mona Lisa, but they're really just checking on their phones and, t and testing on their phones. Emu is literally getting his ass kicked in this video just because he probably did something bad on social media. You know, when you have those, this person is cancelled kind of memes. Just like that on Twitter. That's literally what that what I think that's meant to, um, to envision. And yeah, the music itself was typical Nightwish style. I love that it had the whole... Like, it had a very good drum beat to it, and it had the whole orchestrated Nightwish sound that Nightwish generally always has with most of their songs. You know, that typical Nightwish sound that you just adhere to Nightwish, that you know it's just Nightwish when you hear it. 
and then they have that little bit of heaviness toward the middle or near the end and it's just nice to see that they're incorporating all different sides of the music that everything has just been incorporated and it's just a really cool song it's a really beautiful song it's I can't really complain of Floor's vocals are Floor's vocals man Floor's vocals are legit and amazing and powerful and what more do you really need me to say about it to be perfectly honest with you a very powerful song a very powerful message based behind it so I'm guessing this entire album is based off lots of different issues to, to do with the world and probably some of the songs in between we won't, I, won't, I personally won't know until I get my news up so until then guys I hope you guys have a wonderful day take it easy and I will see you all in the very next video